So it's um, Wednesday, April 18th, and uh, the degasser was set up about an hour ago now, and uh, we're degassing 43 batches simultaneously. They're all hooked up in series, as you can see, across the top, and uh, you know, blowing a lot of gas off some of them. Not very much gas off others, depends on the wine. Let's see here. Plenty of gas coming off there. Plenty of gas coming off on this one too. If I can get it lined up, there we go. So in the source of the bubbles in each one of these containers is a little stainless steel disc that looks hard to see there, but it's in there. I'll get a sample of one and show it on the video afterwards, but you know, so this is the white side, and there's the red side. They're all hooked up in series to single gas vacuum pump, which is this one. It's a bit noisy, but I can hear myself talking, and there's no there's the vacuum pressure gauge. We're running at about 20 inches of mercury, something like that, vacuum pressure. This is a vacuum container with a desk pack in it to keep the air from being moist when it enters into the vacuum system. This is another uh, um, vacuum container, which is basically to capture any liquid that might flow off of the system when we're running it. There's no liquid coming through any of the hoses. You can see it's all dry. Um, these are the reds. They've, they're slowed down quite a bit in the last hour. They're still blowing pretty much depending on the unit. Again, depends on the wine. These are all big, heavy six-week wines. This is, for example, a... Uh, actually, that's a BDV County, so... This is a uh, GSM. One fair amount of gas there. <laughs> There's another... Uh, what do we got there? We got... Uh, Valpolicello. This is a Malbec. So anyway, we'll get as far away from the pump as we can. So you can hear the, you can barely hear the pump. You get more than 15 or 20 feet away, you can't hear it at all, or bar barely at all. And here, for this one away from the system, it's a uh, California Red. But we're two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-seven carboys away from the vacuum pump, and all of these are blowing gas, no problem. So, just take a quick look at the stainless steel discs we use for the degassing system. That's this stuff here. So these are three quarter inches. They're a uh, um, sintered stainless steel with a 0.5 micron hole in them as a gas generating stone. We degas our wines after filtration. Um, we don't use any um, fining agents except for bentonite at the beginning of the process. None of these wines have had any uh, Kisasol or Kytosan in them. We ran all 43 of these in sequence on a filtering run. So, uh, very efficient. Uh, total time to set the whole thing up, about 15 minutes. Total time to take it all back down at the end of the process tomorrow morning when the staff comes back in. Actually, we'll leave it till Friday probably, but uh, uh, tomorrow, shut it down. It'll be about 15 minutes to tear it down and 10 minutes to clean it. Everything is uh, in this configuration is nylon or um, material that can be washed with um, 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 Santa, Santa, um, Santa Brew or any of the chlorine TSP combination cleaners we use in the business. There's no metal parts anywhere in the system. The only metal parts are right here on the pump, the vacuum pump. Everything else is nylon or rubber. Uh, it comes apart. These are configured in sections of four and hooked together with pieces of flexible hose. These are uh, been in use now for almost five years. So we've been degassing this way for five years. The secret now is that we finally found a good stone to use to drive the bubbles off. That's that stainless steel disc that I was showing you earlier. Anyway, that's the degassing system we've been using for the last five years uh, with excellent results. 
The great part is we filter on the shelf. We hook the whole thing up right where we filter. No moving. No noisy vacuum, uh, excuse me, um, compressor. No constant hissing sound from the pressure escaping or driving away to create the vacuum. Yeah, the vacuum pump's expensive, but you know, so far it's cost me about $100 a year for the, for the vacuum pump. And considering that the normal degassing time, most stores tell me they take 10 to 15 minutes per batch. We do two to 3,000 batches a year. We've saved a huge amount of money doing it this way in terms of labor costs. And we end up with a better product. Less oxygen in the wine, better quality all the way around. It's just a great system.